don't quit, don't stop, don't show any mercy. You are here to stay. You're not going to let anybody tell you what to do. You are going to push it over the limit. You're going to go and you're going to push it, push it to your absolute limits. Don't quit. Don't stop. Don't quit. Never tell them what they want to hear. It doesn't matter how many people you leave laying. Well, I'm excuse Find your endurance. Find your strength. Don't quit. Never give up. Don't believe in Sometimes it's not the size of the man in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the man. I'm better than the best in the world. But we're gonna have some problems. The choice is yours. I am the phenomenal AJ Styles. Those far left and right, you are the cerebral assassin. You do your damn job. It is time for me to make you understand. Are you that damn good or will you be dethroned? I have fought the best. And I've beaten the best. Three warriors wage war. I'm gonna knock you right out. For the World Heavyweight Championship, it's live now. There ain't no second chances. This is it. Blood, sweat, tears, all of it gets put into this one night. Endure, don't quit, don't stop, never give up. Tonight, these men go over the limit. Are you ready for what is possibly one of the most intense pay-per-views of the year? Tonight, these wrestlers are going to go over the limit. We are live on pay-per-view yet again. This is No Limits Wrestling, followed up by a huge main event here tonight. Who is leaving as world champion? This is Over the Limit. And it's going to start in no other way. Of course, we're going to have three stages of hell for you right now. It's for the Intercontinental Championship and what a matchup we have for you coming up next. Two of the greatest in this sport, two of the greatest in this company today, they're going to battle it out for the Intercontinental title in our opening contest. About to make his way to the ring, the current reigning and defending Intercontinental Champion in No Limits Wrestling, that man is Y2J Chris Jericho and he is the first man out here to a mixed response it has to be said he is one hell of a popular superstar in wrestling however here tonight he is going up against a man who is more popular than ever especially after going after Chris Jericho over the past couple weeks the man he's about to face is Chris Benoit and he's ready to challenge for the Intercontinental title tonight in what is his rematch class tonight it's gonna be three stages of hell but we'll get to that in a minute when the match starts, we'll tell you, we'll run you down what the falls are. Of course, these two men have been preparing for the better part of three weeks. And here is the challenger. The rabid Wolverine, Chris Benoit, the former Intercontinental Champion. He won the Intercontinental title, funnily enough, at WrestleMania. And then proceeded to lose it again at our last pay-per-view extravaganza destruction. He went one-on-one -on -one with Chris Jericho in a submission match for the IC title. However, he lost it. He was put in the walls of Jericho. However, Benoit did not tap out. He passed out. That's where the controversy has surrounded over the past couple of weeks. And tonight, he's been put through tables. He's been made to submit. Both of these men have one-upped each other. And you see the ribs take by Benoit as this matchup gets underway. Benoit and Jericho fighting out in our opening contest. It's been... Over the past couple of weeks, a series of blows, a series of verbal barges, and the challenge was made on episode 24 for a three stages of hell match here tonight. And this is the first of three falls potentially. And now oh, here you go, Jericho trying to get the submission in, but ran right in to the steel ring post. Fall one is submissions count anywhere. That's the one we're in right now. Fall two is a tables match, and if it's needed, fall three is going to be a ladder match. So obviously these two have got to. Think about endurance and strength, and there you see the low blow. And if anybody knows about endurance, it's these two. They were the first two in our Royal Rumble about a year ago. And now Jericho with the diving clothesline. Y2J 
taking it to Benoit in the early stages of this matchup and now Benoit having none of it sends him into the steel ring post I'll tell you what Chris Benoit is in peak physical condition here tonight despite the fact that his ribs were assaulted by Jericho this past week he's sent into the steel post again and the steel ring steps this time and you see now Jericho if he's going to win this matchup he's got to target the ribs and that's exactly what he's doing right now dropping him on those ribs the ones he assaulted with the ladder this past week on episode 25 so Benoit despite ribs being taped up he is here tonight and he's going to try and get the early submission here and remember the submissions in this first fall don't have to necessarily take place in the ring they can take place anywhere in the arena Jericho knows that he's going to work on Benoit following the Bulldog Y2J up to his feet now he has had a story career here in NLW and now Benoit look at this oh my goodness are we going to see the cross face but Jericho trying to get out of it and what a kick to the flipping skull my god Y2J certainly confident but is it going to be considered cocky and he sends him right into the barricade here Y2J with the drop kick and now he sent it over that body drop onto the crowd barrier they're in the crowd now the technical part of that crowd and Benoit diving at him jeez diving over the guardrail and Jericho's in trouble now but Benoit sent off of the barrier again and they are fighting in the crowd of the arena fighting amongst these fans and in that technical pit here they're still in the arena for now but for how long they could go anywhere they want to Jericho getting the camera there from the technical pit and hitting across the ribs of Chris Benoit working on them again he's up to his feet but you gotta wonder how much those ribs are gonna take throughout the majority of this matchup we're only early on in this match meanwhile and Jericho he's got the sleeper but Benoit reverses and there it is a catapult into the technical equipment again this is dangerous situation to be in and oh my you see there the entire wall that entire fencing just collapsed under the weight of Benoit spearing Jericho through it and they've made their way through the crowd here and that technical area remember submissions can count anywhere it doesn't just have to be in the ring it can be anywhere he wants to and Benoit and Jericho climbing the guardrail again they're over by the set they're over by the over the limit stage and remember this is only fall one there could be potentially three falls in this one and Jericho taking advantage of the count anywhere part of submissions count anywhere he has got the walls wrenched in Benoit's ribs have got to be in intense pain right now the walls of Jericho on the announce table got kicked in the ring again this is all in the name of the world intercontinental championship and there you see Benoit using that structuring to the announce table to hit it across Jericho's face but he sent it into the ribs first into the sting flipping ring ropes again I have not commentated in a while I've got to be honest with you but I do know for a fact that this matchup is going to be incredible because Jericho is tightening him up and runs at him cross face on the outside and now he taps out the first fall goes to Chris Benoit and from out of nowhere seemingly seemed as though Jericho had had Benoit on the back foot working on those ribs however Jericho unfortunately for him got cut out on that occasion we'll see the end of this first fall here he jumped leaped like a leopard or whatever animal leaps anyway and then you hear the ring bell to signify the start of the second fall this is a tables match the submissions count anywhere matchup goes to Benoit and now we're in the table stage he's going to try and put him through the table early on make this fall a short one but Benoit if he wins this he's going to win the Intercontinental Championship Jericho has to win this to tie up the score and keep his title hopes alive well he's got the table set up on the outside and in the ring again Jericho almost there and he was reversed into the table again but Jericho sending that table off of Benoit's face and now what do you think is going through his mind I know it's going through his mind there's a lion salt 
onto the table, onto the wood and onto the ribs of Benoit again and those ribs have got to be hurting Jericho getting the table from under the ring but now he's being beaten up by Benoit and look at that Jericho trying to get the leverage, trying to get him over and onto that table but he's punched off and oh my well I gotta say he was this close inches away from going through that table and if the wood hadn't have held up Benoit would be our new intercontinental champion but he's running off the ropes Benoit's running off and oh my god through the ropes and crashing and burning you have to be put through a table in order to win the fall Benoit put himself through it Jericho didn't put him through it but it's a start it's a damn well good start and so many replays we gotta check this out again just diving through the ropes regardless irregardless of his health and well-being he's here to put on a show and not only that putting his own body at risk to hurt Jericho and the table is set up in the ring and what do you think goes through the mind of Chris Jericho at the moment Ben Wall reverses and oh my well he almost went through the table but it nearly buckled that's not going to count either if only you had a thinner piece of wood Benoit might have won this and now the frustration setting in he's got a chair in the ring he's frustrated but there's code breaker through the table he goes and quickly decisively again the second fall is already over Chris Jericho what a damn code breaker could have broken his nose could have broken his ribs even with a impact like that through that table Benoit not looking where he was going and he went straight through the table and now the third fall starts this is the ladder match the winner of this one gets the intercontinental title and although the tables match is over Jericho like oh my and look at the size of that damn ladder and the intercontinental title hoisted above the ring by the referee and the ladder right into the face and ribs of Benoit and again working on those ribs is Jericho he knows he was the one who assaulted Benoit's ribs this past week and that's why he's gotten tied up Chris he reversed off the ladder that time and now Chris Benoit looking to the outside but Jericho has that chair and right off the back of the head Benoit's in trouble and again you see that cheap kick to the ribs by Chris Jericho there are no disqualifications obviously he can do whatever the hell he likes especially now that he's got that chair in his hand and he's driving it into the ribs but is he going to plan Benoit's own German suplex onto that ladder but Benoit reverses wow god I fell that one from the commentary position what a German suplex executed to perfection onto that ladder and again the chair shot to the back of the head Benoit at the moment is being pummeled by Chris Jericho what do you think goes through the mind of Chris Jericho at the moment he has him held in that ladder and the legs were caught in that ladder and then the back suplex to the floor I gotta say this match is pretty breathtaking if you think about the way in which these two have had such a storied rivalry over the past couple weeks not even weeks months and even years it all started at the Royal Rumble that was a hard entire year ago and there's a huge drop kick to the face of that ladder and again Benoit with Jericho on those back and although Chris Benoit has the disadvantage when it comes to the ribs that aspect of his arsenal he's going to try and work on the ribs of Jericho but now Jericho on the outside and flipping that ladder right into the face that could have broken his nose and now Jericho sees the opportunity to pounce to take advantage he's climbed the ladder he's almost got the title but Benoit dragging him off again and now it's a game of cat and mouse who can get up the ladder first who can get the championship down first is it going to be Benoit he's got his hand on the title but now here comes Jericho up the ladder and Chris Jericho he has got that leg no way no freaking way for the love of God think of the ribs and the height he's got 
The wall's in the ladder. Chris Jericho has that wrenched in and now he's dropped into the floor and he's probably busted a couple more ribs certainly the walls of Jericho on the ladder but Benoit back up and still still managing to get into it and pushing Chris Jericho off of the ladder such high risk these two men have already been through two falls they're exhausted but they're still putting it all on the line all in the name of the Intercontinental title Chris Benoit he's got no one around him but now he sees Jericho on the floor and look at this oh my god he is in dangerous straits such high risk he's hanging from the ladder and he's hanging from the title belt Jericho jeez code breaker from the top of the rafters he must have fell 20 feet how the hell are they going to get up from that that Intercontinental title does crazy things to people. They'll do anything to win with it. You see the height he got with that code breaker. Jumping off of the... Oh, and again, the ribs to the stomach of Chris Benoit. Those ribs have already been taped up. And this match is proving to be brutal. He's climbing up, but he sees him down and jumps down. But he gets caught out. Crossface. He's got it wrenched in and... He can tap all he likes. It's not going to help his situation. But then again, Chris Jericho hitting Benoit off the ladder. He's certainly confident, and that much is clear. These two are tied one fall apiece. But it's Benoit on the back foot and the receiving end of the punishment at the moment. What an incredible opener, and now they're both on the top of the ladder again. Benoit and Jericho pulling out all the stops, but Benoit now huge elbow and there's a drop down he dropped down from the top of that ladder and that was a pretty decent height if I'm honest with you and what the hell is Benoit thinking the title's not going to be there the title's not in your reach there Benoit don't do this oh how the hell the feats that these guys are putting on for us it astounds me the diving headbutt from the top of the ladder and that may have put Chris Jericho away for good there have been so many replays in this matchup so many high spots and that was an unbelievable one I cannot believe my eyes Jericho's down and out on the outside Benoit's all alone in the ring all he has to do is climb the ladder and he's won this Chris Benoit he knows there's no one around him but Jericho's back in with that steel chair shot off the legs. Chris Benoit thought he was all alone. But now, oh my god, Jericho! Jesus! Check on him! For God's sake! Through two tables and Jericho's all alone in the ring. Jericho's all alone and he's taken down the title and he's retained the Intercontinental Championship. my god check on him get the EMT, get him now, go and go down Chris Benoit not only have his ribs been pummeled last week they were pummeled throughout this matchup and now what have you got he's thrown from the top of the ladder 20 feet, maybe even 30 feet from the top of the ladder to the floor Chris Jericho still your Intercontinental Champion, but it was Benoit who won the first fall, the submissions count anywhere matchup. Then it was Chris Jericho with a code break through the table to win the second tables match, but I never in my wildest dreams imagined that that ladder match was going to end as catastrophically as it did. The EMTs have already gone down to ringside only shortly after the incident occurred. And Chris Jericho is still your Intercontinental Champion. I don't say this often, but what a freaking matchup. Chris Jericho pulled off some amazing stuff. Benoit too. Give these two men credit. That is one hell of a tough act to follow. The stretcher has been laid out for Chris Benoit as the EMTs are working on him.
he went through two tables from a height of 30 feet. Chris Jericho decisively beats Benoit and proves why he is the best in the world at what he does. He's still your Intercontinental Champion. And following that, incredible encounter, another encounter featuring a Viper and a Monster. Randy Orton up next in part two, he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Kane. And this all stems from the fact that Randy Orton can't accept the fact that he was defeated by Kane in the tournament. How the hell is the Viper going to respond? He's been after Kane since day one. It's been weeks in the making, but will the monster finally get his hands on Randy Orton? He chased him out of the building last week, but up next it's going to be Randy Orton going one-on-one -on -one with Kane. The Viper versus the Big Red Machine. That is up next at Over the Limit.